Hey guys, Roxbox90 here with some more M14 spoilers. So I know we've had a little bit of a drought on them recently because of all the Dragon's Maze hubbub, but now we have some more from M14. And today we found out that there be slivers here. So what are slivers? Slivers were a tribal group that were introduced quite a while back in Magic. I remember they made a big boom in Legions is when they first appeared as a large group. I think there were even older ones than that. But I know Legions is when they became these slivers and it was a whole group that you could use and actually make decks out of and it was a whole thing. And since then there have been many sliver prints. So Wizards wants to bring slivers back to us but with a few twists. So let's take a look. So the spoiler was pretty much about uh, chittering, clicking sound and they were talking about things on Twitter and of course when we're looking about living shields, anyone who's read the books knows how slivers function. They're a hive mind, and they work together to get stronger. They were they become a hive mind, and they evolve physically as a hive, which is kind of an interesting twist on that whole hive evolution concept. But it was confirmed M14 will have slivers. So cool. Let's take a look at them. They're actually a bunch of things I want to observe about them, but first I'm just going to confirm Sliver Queen will not be reprinted. Apparently people were thinking it could be somehow. I don't know why people would think that because if you look at the reserve list that WotC has on their website, under Stronghold you will find Sliver Queen, which means it will never be reprinted in a similar form ever again. So it is impossible that the Sliver Queen will be reprinted, although more likely than not given the the passion wizards has for five color sliver legend mythic things there will be another one like that so you heard it here first chances are there will be a five color leader sliver in m14 but we don't have that yet we only have some other spoilers so let's take a peek at them so the first one we have is sentinel sliver it's one in a white for a two two sliver creatures you control have vigilance okay so it's a couple of things i want to observe here slivers became really big so to speak or big as a visual tribe in magic around legion's time and there were a couple of aspects that were known about slivers one is that they did not look humanoid they were almost like various animalistic things. They tended to run in all fours, they had claws, they had very animalistic characteristics, and they gathered their form from the environment around them, which tended to be very natural, naturally based, even in the Mirrodin world, where some slivers did appear. Even there, they tried to imbibe the natural world. They did not imbibe humanoid characteristics. You look at all the old slivers, they're pretty much non-human. But if you look at the one here, it's humanoid, which is kind of strange, but I guess they decided they wanted that for flavor choice, and that's kind of, that's a new thing you're going to see here with the slivers. Secondly, it says creatures you control have vigilance. Sliver creatures you control have vigilance. It used to be sliver creatures had the ability, which means that your opponents would also get it, which made playing slivers kind of interesting, because if you both ran slivers, then you'd have to calculate all the abilities for both sets of slivers on the field. This time they're making it very clear just your ability, just your slivers will get the abilities, uh, which makes limited not nearly as manically crazy as it was back in the day. Those are interesting changes. I kind of like it. It makes it more open for new players. It makes it more functional for them when they're learning about slivers and how to use them. And I think it's a very good choice because it was very difficult to play properly if you were a newbie back in the day with slivers because your opponent would play a sliver, you play a sliver, and be like, wait a second, do I play more slivers? What do I do? Because if I play a sliver, it'll help both our slivers, but their slivers are stronger, and it made the game very complicated. Whereas this time, it's going to be pretty straightforward. It's classic tribal. It helps your other, your other creatures of that type. So it is a solid uncommon, rather, sorry, common. It's a solid common, two for two, two, that gives vigilance to all your slivers. Then we have steel form sliver. This one is pretty obviously human-based. It's almost a robot robot looking, which is a little confusing because why, if its environment is planes and stone, why would it be metal? But okay, it's flavor-wise, forget the flavor. It's two and a white for a two-two. It get, creates sliver creatures you control get O plus one. So classic staple, there was another sliver that did something like this back in the day, I think in, in the time spiral block, but usual stuff. 
Then we have Battle Sliver, which I think looks kind of cool, actually. And this could be an alternate creature, even though it has humanoid characteristics. It still could be very more animalistic, and that has the four arms. It has this crouch to it. I really like these like tentacle things. Yeah, it's four and one for a three three. Sliver creatures you control get two plus one, two plus zero, oh, which is also classic Sliver ability. You'll probably see it on another Sliver. Then we have Blur Sliver which is more like the old slivers in terms of how it looks, even though there's like a head thing here, but usually they look like this. They look almost like alien creatures, like for the movie Alien, but not. Two and a red for a two-two, sliver creatures you control have haste. And then striking sliver, one for a one-one, sliver creatures you control have first strike. And ground shaker sliver is five-five for seven, they have trample. And those are all the ones we have. They're all commons, I believe, oh, one uncommon. Two uncommons. Two uncommons and commons. And pretty much it confirms that we're going to be having slivers, which is kind of cool. And as I already mentioned, the flavor and the ability changes. Kind of neat. We'll see how they actually play out, especially once they ramp up and we see some rares and hopefully mythic, at least one mythic, of their tribe. So let me know what you guys think about the new slivers and including them now bringing them back to magic with some changes. Let me know your guys' thoughts about those below in the comments section. As always, stay tuned for future spoilers and other Magic the Gathering content. Roxbox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.